What's going on, YouTubers? It is your boy, Delex Man. And this is a follow up to a video that I did, I think, earlier this week. Maybe it was Wednesday, but it was pretty much my thoughts on CM Punk quitting the WWE, taking his ball, pulling a Stone Cold Steve Austin, and going home. I kinda sorta gave you guys my opinions in that video, but not really. That was more of an objective view on whether it was a work or whether it was legitimate, if he actually did leave the company. Um, more facts have come out, more reports have come out to where I can at least make a educated guess on whether it is actually legitimate or work. And in this video, I'm gonna give you guys my full opinions on the situation as of right now. So let me start off by saying this, guys. I don't know CM Punk. I don't know Philip Brooks. I've never met Philip Brooks, all right? My views, my opinions are strictly based off of what I've seen of Philip Brooks outside the wrestling ring, you know, in interviews and uh, Q&A sessions and um, DVDs, you know. I can only make logical conclusions based off of that. And that's all I can do, you know. I've never met him. I don't know how he operates. So I can only go based off of what I've seen. And I'll admit, I'm a big CM Punk fan. So my views might be skewed a little bit towards one side than the other. And that's how it is most of the time until we get real facts from CM Punk himself or WWE or whatever. Our views are going to be skewed. People who don't like CM Punk are going to believe one side. People who like CM Punk are going to believe another side. Very few people are in the middle. So until we get actual facts, it's all speculation. We can only go off of what we know right now. And what we know right now is CM Punk is reportedly not going to be on any future WWE events for the upcoming few months until something changes. You know, He's not going to be at WrestleMania. He's not going to be at WrestleMania Access. He's not going to be at the Elimination Chamber. He's not going to be on any house shows, on any Raws, or on any SmackDowns. The WWE has already begun to offer refunds for people who wanted to see CM Punk during that event. I, mean, I think it's safe to say that CM Punk has, in fact, legitimately left the WWE. And this is not a work. But... Can it be a work? Let's say Vince McMahon just so happens to work something out with him next week and he comes back. They can easily turn this into a really good storyline for WrestleMania. Yes, it's, you know, damage control, but whatever. It can still create good TV and it writes itself. You know, he's mad at the WWE for, you know, mistreating people like Daniel Bryan, bringing in people like Batista to take over the main event scene when you have all these great wrestlers who don't get TV time being undercut and underutilized, and it's not fair. You know, he's going to be, uh, I don't want to say the hero, maybe a, a rebel with a cause to help those in need, the voice of the voiceless. You know, just go back to 2011 and bring back that character. Who knows? But pretty much the whole storyline is CM Punk fighting an unfair system in the WWE and sticking up for the true wrestlers, the two talents, the true talents that deserve to be showcased over the ones that don't. You know, his fight is with the corporate douchebags that is Triple H and Stephanie McMahon, the authority, and fighting for the idea that wrestling matters and the fans deserve to get their desires fulfilled. And besides that, on top of anything else, Triple H versus CM Punk needs to happen again. The last time they fought was in 2011, and that storyline never got a blow off. They can easily take what they did in 2011 and blow it off, cap it off here at WrestleMania 30. It makes so much sense. They can take so many things they've already done and just bring it back. It doesn't have to take any thought. It can write itself. If you bring CM Punk back, all you have to do is just tell him to go out there and vet his frustrations again like he did in 2011. Let him cut a pipe bomb and dear lord it will set into motion what could possibly be an awesome feud for WrestleMania 30. And I think at the end of the day that is what CM Punk wants. It's not really about being the last match on WrestleMania 30. It's not about getting the WWE Championship. It's not about money. CM Punk has tons of money. I doubt it's about money. It's really about being the focus. It's about 
you know, being a focus, maybe not the focus, but having a compelling angle, a compelling feud that fans would love to watch weekly. A feud where CM Punk can be himself and, you know, truly showcase what he's all about. That is what this is about. It's not about the WWE mistreating him, all right? Because, guys, yes, I will admit, based off his DVD, they had not treated CM Punk the best way at all. But CM Punk and us would have to be idiots to think that the WWE has not made him into a hot commodity, has not contributed in where he is today. Guys, look at his accolades. He's a 434-day WWE champion, the longest reigning WWE champion for over three decades since the 80s. Come on now. He's an IC champion. He's the ECW champion. He's a multiple-time tag team champion. He's a multiple-time WWE World Heavyweight Champion and WWE Champion. He's fought and beaten people like John Cena, Randy Orton, Chris Jericho, Daniel Bryan, The Undertaker, Triple H, and many, many more people. He's worked with great wrestlers like William Rico and others like that. And I'm pretty sure CM Punk is not stupid. I think he knows this. And I think he knows he really can't say the WWE has mistreated him. That's not what Punk's problem is. I don't think that is what CM Punk's problem is. To me, his problem is that WWE is just not giving him the best programs. They're just not using him to the best of his abilities. And he feels like it's a waste of his time. On top of that, injuries you know he's not been home for a long time he's been on the road for a long long time and the road schedule probably has him sick maybe he's just sick and tired of seeing the exact same people over and over again he just wants to get away that's what's gonna happen CM Punk has been at this for how long over a decade he's been wrestling non-stop for a long long time guys and the only time that he actually got a break at least in the WWE was that two month period after WrestleMania when he fought Taker last year. That's it. That's not enough, all right? I don't think that's enough. So can you really, really say that he shouldn't be upset, that he shouldn't have felt the need to leave WWE? Not really. I mean, again, if you have injuries, if you're hurt all the time, and you can say, well, you're a wrestler. It comes with the job. But, guys, if you've been doing it for a long time, you're going to get sick of it. So you're hurt all the time. You're around people you don't want to be around. You're not happy with creative. You're tired of the booking. You're not happy with your position. I'll get to that in a second. You know, you're tired of all these outside wrestlers coming in and getting a spot that you want, although you busted your ass hard to get that spot. Eventually, that's going to wear down on you. You're going to get sick of it, and you're going to make irrational decisions like walking out on the company when obviously you could have done something else to fix it. It's not about the titles. It's not about being the last match on a card, and it's not about, in my personal opinion, money. Because he has a lot of money already. I don't think it's about money at all. It's about creating the best possible TV for you and the fans. And apparently CM Punk feels like he's not doing that and it's a waste of his time. He's putting his body on the line for no purpose. You know what I'm saying? He's hurting himself for no reason. I mean, he talked about this in the Q&A session that I put up on my channel. Go watch that. And to all the people talking about, it's all about CM Punk's ego. He only left because he's not getting his way. Well, let's talk about that. Let's just say CM Punk wants to be on top. What's wrong with that? <laughs> What's wrong with wanting to be the top guy in the company? What's wrong with trying to work towards that top spot? Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Isn't that why you're in the wrestling business? Is it really about his ego? Or is it really about the fact that he believes that he is the best, or he really is the best in the company? Maybe not as close to Daniel Ryan, but at least he knows he's one of the best wrestlers in the company and that he feels he should be higher on the card. Maybe not as high or higher than Daniel Bryan, but a Randy Orton or a John Cena, why not? Ask yourselves this. Is CM Punk better than John Cena in terms of wrestling, in terms of character, in terms of just the overall packaging and presentation to the viewing audience? I mean, you can argue that Cena is better in these ways, like... Oh, he has more titles than CM Punk, or he's more popular, or he sells more merchandise than CM Punk. I'm just, whatever. You can argue that. But at the end of the day, CM Punk has more leggings over a Cena. So, in my personal opinion, when you have that view, 
of course you're gonna feel like you're not getting what you deserve. And that can be frustrating for anybody and any occupation. If you're working in a company and you have a certain position that you're doing really good in and you see this guy not doing as well and you know you can do better than him and you do do better than him but you don't get the respect that you deserve, you cannot sit there and tell me that you will just sit back and take it. You might do it for a while but after some time you're going to get frustrated. And that's reality. Now look, I will say that CM Punk should be blamed for something. I know I made it sound like so far that he shouldn't be blamed for anything. He should be blamed for one thing, walking out on the fans. Yes, walking out on the company, I understand. Listen, I'm happy he did that. I respect the wrestlers that feel like they don't need the wrestling business. They aren't confined to the wrestling business. The Rock isn't confined to WWE. Austin, Stone Cold Steve Austin isn't confined to the WWE. Edge isn't. Chris Jericho isn't. Many other Great wrestlers who could make tons and tons of money in wrestling choose to do other things because they feel like they don't need wrestling. I respect the wrestlers that have that mentality. They have the mentality of, you need me, I don't need you. And that's how it should be in my personal opinion. But CM Punk should know how popular he is. He should know that many fans are expecting to see him on Raw and SmackDown. They bought their tickets to WrestleMania expecting to see him at WrestleMania. And knowing that, I think the timing was extremely bad on his part. I understand him leaving the company, but before WrestleMania, you know, he could have at least waited until after WrestleMania to leave or wait until July. Take a break after his contract expires, you know, something like that. There was no need to burn any bridges. He could have just left on good terms. The way he did it was not the best way to do it. And knowing how petty Vince McMahon can be sometimes, this whole mentality of, you know, John Cena is on top all the time, this is why. This is why he's on top all the time. Because wrestlers like CM Punk, who can be on top of the company, can't be trusted to stay on top because of personal issues. They will walk out on the company, like a Stone Cold Steve Austin did like The Rock did. And that's why Cena is on top all the time because he is always there. He can be trusted to be on top. Whether that's right or wrong, that's how it is. And CM Punk just gave Vince McMahon even more ammunition to go, yep, this is why Cena's on top. Deal with it, you know? This is why I bring back Batista. This is why I always put Randy Orton and Triple H and all these guys in the top brackets. Because the people that I would like to put in the main event, I can't trust to be there. And CM Punk sent that very message when he walked out right before WrestleMania. And CM Punk should be blamed for that. So to bring it all to a full closing, you guys can have your opinions about whether CM Punk was right to walk out on the company, you know, stick to his guns and be who he is and show the company, hey, you need me, I don't need you. You can see him as a crybaby who has an ego who just walked out because he wasn't in the main event, he wasn't the main focus, it's not about him at WrestleMania 30. However you want to view it, at the end of the day, we all suffer. So. What I believe should happen to fix all of this, CM Punk needs to come back. I think CM Punk should at least, at least, come back and finish this program with Triple H. Use this as a way to make a great storyline and, you know, finish off WrestleMania 30 and then go home. I'm not saying finish off your contract. I think that would be best, you know, honor your contract. So you can at least leave on good terms and not burn any bridges. But if you're going to come back and you are so frustrated that you just can't stand WWE anymore, I understand, at least come back and finish this program with Triple H and then go about your merry way. At least do that. And WWE needs to get their priorities together. Because let's not forget, the only reason why CM Punk left could be because the program he was going to be put in was shit, was terrible, and he wasn't happy with it. So maybe they should really get some people who know what the fuck they're doing. I say let a Paul Heyman book it. Give it to Paul Heyman. Give it to Dutch Mantel, Zep Coulter. Give it to somebody that knows how to make a good program and not rely on these stupid, idiotic Hollywood writers to write for CM Punk. 
get someone that can create a good program for him. At least for WrestleMania 30, and I guarantee you he'll come back. Do you really think if CM Punk had a good program, that he had a great program, he would leave? That could be a reason right there why he left, because he knew that the program was going to suck, so he saw no reason in staying. Because I really do think, whether he was in the main event or not, if he had a good program in place for WrestleMania 30, he would have waited it out and then left after WrestleMania. Obviously. So yes, that's what I think needs to happen. I love CM Punk, but I do think the guy left the wrong way and way too soon, right before WrestleMania. And that's not going to hurt just him. That's not going to hurt the WWE. It's going to really disappoint his fan base. At least honor your agreement and then leave. So here's hoping that, you know, it's not a work right now, but maybe it will be a work in the future. And that CM Punk comes back and gives us a great program for WrestleMania 30. Because honestly, guys, as it looks for WrestleMania 30, the only person that I really truly care about is Daniel Bryan. Maybe I can say the Shield, maybe I can say the Wyatt family, but it's very few people. And one of those few people was CM Punk. Now that he left, I'm kind of very sour. I'm growing sour on WrestleMania 30. WrestleMania 30, the WrestleMania of WrestleManias. Three decades for being the Super Bowl of Wrestling. This should be one of the best shows that we've seen ever because of what it represents. The fact that CM Punk is not going to be there is a crying shame, is a damn shame and the WWE needs to do everything in their power to make sure that this gets fixed so what are your thoughts on this here's the full analysis guys how do you feel about the situation about everything I talked about leave it down below in the comment section or make a video response to what you do but this is your boy Delex Man signing off like me on Facebook Follow me on Twitter, subscribe, check out Wrestling Paradise, my podcast channel, check out my mashups on the WWE channel, and guys, I will catch you at my next video. Whatever it is, whenever it is, I hope things work out for CM Punk in the near future, and hopefully I will see him again on WWE TV. I'm out. Peace.